Um, first, I would like to um, say how very glad we are to that you all came tonight. It's it's very special to us, and we hope it is for you too. Um, every year, the IGS Board of Trustees presents the J. Talbot Winchell Award to recognize an individual for their exceptional service to the field of general semantics. This year's recipient is Robert James, the president of the Australian Society for General Semantics. Robert began his GS experience over 50 years ago under the tutelage and example of his father's army buddy, the late Laurie Cox. Laurie, by the way, won this Talbot Award in 1985. Well, Lori Cox passed away in 2014 at the age of 95. Just another example of what lifelong practice of general semantics can do for you. <laughs> so Robert, with the help of his wife, Jean, and I learned tonight she's the vice president of the Australian Society, have been carrying on the work of the Australian Society ever since. Besides his activities with general semantics, Robert is concerned with the promotion of global initiatives, interfaith dialogue, mm. social justice programs, and Jungian psychology studies. He has also held roles in information technology with the Australian mm. Bureau of Statistics and the Department of Foreign Affairs. Recent general sem semantic seminars held in Australia include a presentation about how to get what you want while remaining happy. I expect that seminar had something to do with Alfred Krasipski's suggestion that if we don't frustrate ourselves in the first place by expecting happiness, we are more likely to end up happy with what we get in the end. <laughs> Robert has also held a discussion of Marty Levinson's amusing interpretation of general semantics in Marty's book titled Practical Fairy Tales for Everyday Living. Highly recommend. Another presentation in Australia was how to lose weight and keep it off, reminding us once again of Korzybski's warning that more does not necessarily mean better. <laughs> and Roberts recently presented a, a seminar titled Urban Myths and Stereotypes, Master or Servant. It was about defining the differences between reality and fantasy and that it may not be as simple as it first appears. Considering Robert's experience with working with government, we can only hope that he'll offer this seminar again, free of charge, for our current politicians in Washington. Because one of the main general semantics takeaway points of that seminar is the world you think you know might not actually exist. <laughs> But in the meantime, in recognition of Robert James' ongoing energetic work to further the understanding and application of general semantics, we honor his achievement and commitment with deep appreciation and warm thanks. So Robert, please accept the 2019 J. Talbot Winchell Award. Thank you.